All right, friends, it's about 530. I got a few hours of daylight left. Let's get ready for tomorrow. Some of you guys have noticed this crate in a few of my videos. One guy thought it was a coffin. It looks pretty terrible on the outside. That plywood has not aged well this winter. Inside this crate is a new flail mower. I bought this last fall off Titan Attachments. It's a 72 inch one. It's got a hydraulic side shift on it. So it's gonna be pretty neat to get this thing on and use it tomorrow. I think I'm gonna go ahead tonight and take it up to the house. That way in the morning, we can get it out of the crate and put it on the tractor. I think I'll run this on the 574. And while we're down here, check out these two logs right here. Look at this one right here. This is pretty unique, friends. This is a good size log. And let me test your all's uh, knowledge here as far as watching my channel and knowing about trees. What species do you think this is, judging by the bark? Leave your best guess down in the comments. It might surprise some of you. This log will be going on the sawmill here in about two weeks. Check out this black walnut. And this one right here is gonna be something special, I'll tell you what. That's the biggest walnut I've ever had here at the sawmill. But everything looks pretty good. Like I was saying, I probably should have got out of that crate when I first got it. I let it sit in there too long. But these bolts here just kind of corroded over just a little. And uh, we'll replace those, no big deal. And we'll come out here in the morning and assemble this thing and put it to work. But tonight I want to take care of one major thing that needs done here. And that's this PTO shaft. So for you guys out there with PTO shafts and they sit around for a little while, like this right here, and they get moisture in them, they get real tight and you can't pry them apart. And it gets to be a problem. And you're better off when you store something like this and just take them apart and put some grease on them. I should have done that right here. So learn from my mistakes. guys that worked out as planned if it didn't i'd probably edit this out of the video that works every time but don't take much to pull that out you guys can see this tube right here that right there is on both ends one of them smaller than the other one of course and when you get moisture in there and it sits for a while it gets trapped and it just gets really tight i'll probably soak this in some blue creeper later tonight that way tomorrow, whenever we put it back on, we'll be good to go. No damage though, looks okay. It's a hot day here in Tennessee. It's about 80 degrees. We have a lot going on today. I need to finish hooking up the new flail mower. I worked on that last night for a few hours. We'll do some flail mowing here probably this afternoon. But right now, let's go down to the burn pile.
life is starting over. Country life is through. Even the horses are getting restless. I guess that I am too. Quite a hundred acres, no. I guess that it will do. Have to do.
So what?